Example number 2. Simplify the expression 1 plus x raised to power half minus 1 plus x raised to negative half all over 1 plus x raised to power half. So to make it more simple, we let a to be 1 plus x. So 1 plus x is the first term in the numerator. It is the second term in the numerator. And it is also the term in the denominator. So we'll have a raised to power half for the first term in the numerator minus a raised to negative a half for the second term in the numerator and a raised to power half in the denominator. So where we have 1 plus x, we put a. So it looks more simple and we can now utilize the laws of indices to simplify it further. So in the numerator, we have a raised to power half minus a raised to negative a half. The denominator, we have a raised to power half. So from the loss of indices, we found that when you have a raised to power n by a raised to power n, same base, you add the powers. So if you are given a raised to power 0, that is always 1. Any number raised to power 0 is 1. So if you have a raised to power half times a raised to power half, in the loss of indices, same base, you add the powers. Same base, you add the powers. So a raised to power half plus a raised to power half plus a half, you get a raised to power 1, which is a. If you have a raised to power half times a raised to negative a half, that is a raised to a half minus a half, you get a raised to power 0. Any number raised to power 0 is 1. So same base, you add the powers. So if we utilize those two laws of indices, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the given expression by a raised to power half to make it more simpler. So the term outside the bracket will multiply all the terms inside the bracket. So a raised to power half in the numerator times a raised to power half outside the bracket. So a raised to power half outside the bracket. The term outside the bracket multiplies all the terms inside. Then we have subtraction sign in between in the numerator. Then we have a raised to negative a half as the second term in the numerator times the term outside a raised to power half. Then in the denominator, we have a raised to power half inside the bracket times a raised to power half outside the bracket. So the term which is outside the bracket is always a common factor for all the terms inside the bracket. So after opening those brackets, we can now simplify that further. Utilizes the laws of indices, the two laws of indices we've illustrated there. So a raised to power half times a raised to power half in the numerator, the first term in the numerator will be a raised to power 1, which is just a. Then minus the second term in the numerator, a raised to negative a half times a raised to power half, same base, you add the powers, you get a raised to power 0, which is 1. In the denominator again, we have a raised to power half, times a raised to power half, same base, you add the powers, you get a raised to power 1, which is just a. So that is now in a simplest form. So we let a to be 1 plus x. So we substitute back our original value in the expression. So where there is a, we put the value of a, which is 1 plus x. So where we have a, we substitute back our value from the expression where a was equals to 1 plus x. So where there is a, you put 1 plus x. So in the numerator, we'll have the a is 1 plus x, then minus 1 in the numerator. So where there is a, you put 1 plus x. In the denominator, we have a, but a is 1 plus x. So if you simplify that further, if you simplify that further, you get in the numerator, 
if you collect the like terms we have positive 1 and negative 1 that will go to 0 then plus x so in the numerator we have 1 minus 1 plus x the denominator is just 1 plus x so 1 minus 1 will be 0 plus x so positive 1 and negative 1 in the numerator will be 0 then plus x so 0 plus x is just x then in the denominator is 1 plus x so the simplest form of the above expression is simply x over 1 plus x so the above expression 1 plus x raised to per half minus 1 plus x raised to negative a half all over 1 plus x raised to power half the simplest form of that expression we found to be x over 1 plus x so example number three in the next video